Good morning children. Today we are going to start a new chapter surface areas and volumes. In this chapter we will be studying about the solid shapes, its surface areas and volumes. We have learned about plane figures like rectangle, square, circle etc. and how to find their perimeter and area. Here let us learn about solid shapes and how to find their surface areas and volume. Objects that occupy space are called solid shapes. Their surfaces are called faces. The faces meet at edges and edges meet at vertices. We can also say solid figures are three dimensional objects meaning they have length, breadth and height. Some examples of solid shapes are cone, cuboid, sphere, cylinder, cube etc. Let us recollect the solid shapes like cube and cuboid which you have learned in class 8. Cuboid is a solid figure that has six sides which are called as its faces. Each face of a cuboid is a rectangle. Some examples may include a book, a piece of furniture or a jewelry box. From this figure we can identify the faces of the cuboid, the edges of the cuboid as well as the vertices of the cuboid. Cube A cuboid whose length, breadth and height are all equal is called a cube. A cube has six faces. Each face is a square. We can say it has 12 edges and all edges are of equal length and it has 8 vertices. Again here also in the figure we can see the edges, vertices as well as the faces of a cube. Surface area of a cuboid. The total surface area otherwise TSA of a cuboid is the sum of areas of its six faces. To calculate the surface area of the cuboid we need to first calculate the area of each face and then add up all the areas to get the total surface area. Lateral surface area of a cuboid. Any face of a cuboid may be called as the base of the cuboid. The four faces which are adjacent to the base are called lateral faces of the cuboid. The sum of a surface areas of all sides except the top and bottom face of a solid is defined as the lateral surface area of a solid. Let us find the total surface area of a cuboid. For that, let L be the length, B be the breadth and H be the height of a cuboid. To find the total surface area, we need to find area of all the six faces and add it. So, the area of the top and the bottom that is A, B, C, D and F, E, G, H is L into B. Now, area of the side faces that is A, B, F, E and C, D, H, G will be breadth into height. Area of the faces in the front and back that is area of rectangle B, C, G, F and A, D, H, E will be length into height. Therefore, area of all these faces will be 2 times length into breadth plus 2 times breadth into height plus 2 times length into height. Taking 2 common, total surface area of a cuboid is 2 into LB plus BH plus LH. The lateral surface area of a cuboid with length, breadth and height as L, B and H are area of the four adjacent faces that is area of face A, D, H, E plus area of B, C, G, F 
plus area of A B F E plus area of D C G H that is 2 times breadth into height plus 2 times length into height that is 2 and H is common we can find the answer as 2 into L plus B into H otherwise we can say base perimeter into height. To find the surface area of a cube, we know all the sides are equal. So, the we can say length and breadth and height are equal and we can take the length, breadth and height as A. Surface area of a cube board is 2 into LB plus BH plus LH. Substituting L, B and H in as A, we have it is 2 into 3A square which is equal to 6A square. Similarly, lateral surface area of a cube is area of the four adjacent faces near to the base and we can say it is 4A square. Based on the LSA and TSA of a cube and cuboid, let us start exercise 13.1 in page number 230. Question number 1. A plastic box 1.5 meter long, 1.25 meter wide, and 65 centimeter deep is to be made. It is opened at the top. Ignoring the thickness of the plastic sheet, determine the area of the sheet required for making the box. Also, we need to find the cost of the sheet for it if a sheet measuring 1 meter square costs rupees 20. Here we can see the length, breadth, and height are different, so the plastic box is in the shape of a cuboid. So, we can write length of the plastic box is equal to 1.5 meter, breadth of the plastic box is equal to 1.25 meter and height of the plastic box equal to 65 centimeter. Seeing the length and breadth units are in meter, convert the height also into meter that is 0 0.65 meter. As the plastic box is open at the top, to find the area of sheet required for making the box, we can say all the lateral faces plus area of the base. We know LSA is equal to 2H into L plus B. Area of the base is L into B. Substituting the values, we have 2 into 0 0.65 multiplied with 1.5 plus 1.25 and L into B will be 1.5 into 1.25. 2 into 0 0.65 is 1.3, 1 1.5 plus 1.25 is 2.75. Multiplying we have 3.575. The area of the base which is 1.5 into 1.25 is 1.875. Adding them, we can see the answer as 5.45 meter square. So, area of sheet required for making the box is 5.45 meter square. It is given cost of the sheet for 1 meter square is rupees 20. Therefore, cost of 5.45 meter square is 5.45 into rupees 20 which is equal to 109 rupees. In question number 2, the length, breadth and height of a room are 5 meter, 4 meter and 3 meter respectively. Find the cost of whitewashing the walls of the room and the ceiling at the rate of rupees 7.50 per meter square. Here length of the room is given as 5 meter. Breadth of the room is 4 meter and height of the room is 3 meter. To find the cost of whitewashing, first we should find the area to be whitewashed. We can see all the four walls plus the ceiling that is LSA plus area of ceiling. LSA is 2H into L plus B and area of ceiling is same as area of the base which is L into B. We can substitute the values. 2 into 3 into 5 plus 4 plus 5 into 4 that is 6 into 9 plus 20 that is 54 plus 20 equal to 74 meter square. Cost of whitewashing per meter square is given 7 rupees 50 paise. 
therefore cost of whitewashing 74 meter square will be 7 rupees 50 paise into 74 which is equal to 555 rupees question number 3 the floor of a rectangular hall has a perimeter 250 meter if the cost of painting the four walls at the rate of rupees 10 per meter square is rupees 15,000 find the height of the wall we are given perimeter of the wall is equal to 250 meter that is 2 into L plus B is equal to 250 meter area that we have to paint is LSA that is 2 H into L plus B 2 into L plus B is 250 therefore LSA will be 250 H it is given in the question cost of painting per meter square is rupees 10 therefore cost of painting 250 H meter square will be 250 H into rupees 10 which is given as 15,000 that is 250 H into 10 is equal to 15,000 therefore H is equal to 15,000 by 2,500 which is equal to 6 meter question number 4 the paint in a certain container is sufficient to paint an area equal to 9.375 meter square how many bricks of dimensions 22.5 centimeter into 10 centimeter into 7.5 centimeter can be painted out of this container in the question we are given a brick is of dimensions 22.5 into 10 into 7.5 that means length equal to 22.5 centimeter breadth is equal to 10 centimeter and height is equal to 7.5 centimeter and the paint in the container is enough to paint 9.375 meter square of area so first let us find the total surface area of a brick that is 2 into LB plus BH plus LH substituting the values we have our answer as 937.5 centimeter square as we know the container containing paint can paint 9.375 meter square of area we can write total area painted by the paint in the container is 9.375 meter square as the other one is in centimeter square we are converting meter square into centimeter square by multiplying with 10,000 so our answer will be 93,750 centimeter square we can say number of bricks into total surface area of one brick is equal to total area painted by the paint in the container therefore number of bricks painted will be 93,750 divided by 937.5 which is equal to 100 bricks question number 6 a small indoor greenhouse which is also called as a herbarium is made entirely of glass paints including base held together with tape it is 30 cm long, 25 cm wide and 25 cm high. What is the area of the glass and how much of tape is required for all the 12 edges? We are given length of the greenhouse is 30 cm, breadth of the greenhouse is 25 cm and height of the greenhouse is also 25 cm. To find the area of glass where all the base is also included, we have to find the total surface area which is 2 into LB plus BH plus LH. Substituting the values, we can see the answer as 4250 cm square. To find how much of tape is needed for all the 12 edges, we can see the edges are 4 length, 4 breadth and 4 height. Therefore, tape required for all the 12 edges is equal to 4 length plus 4 breadth plus 4 height which is equal to 4 into L plus B plus H and the answer.
answer will be 4 into 80 equal to 320 centimeter. Thank you.